everybody welcome back to my channel take care for clicking on this video if you're someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so we are on day seven of my unofficial 13 nights of fright yes i have gone back to unofficial today we're gonna be talking about long weekend it's kind of funny that i'm calling it my 13 nights of fright when I'm uploading these videos at noon, yeah, kind of ironic, right? 13 noons of fright. <laughs> Long Weekend came out in 1978. It is considered a horror psychological thriller, and it is an hour and 37 minutes long. You can currently find this movie on Prime Video. Now, this may be another one that you probably have never even heard about, which... I was right there with you to be honest with you this is another one that i found one i was looking for classic horror movies to do for this particular series now in long weekend we are following marcia and peter who are a young married couple they are having much difficulty within their marriage they're actually on the brisk of divorce basically i don't know if it was just like a last kind of attempt to try to like patch up their marriage or if it was just like oh let's go on this weekend trip but basically they're going on this weekend trip to go to this beach to go camping now of course marcia is a not particular fond of camping and i can totally relate i wish you would try to take me camping because we about to fight we about to get divorced i'm not even married but you know like try to take me camping future husband of mine no i'm not about that outdoors life you guys i'm really not the majority of the movie is just them fighting to be honest with you <laughs> so it's not really that entertaining but it keeps you intrigued so Peter on their way to the destination to the camping place yeah you see I don't even know how to camp so I don't know what the thing is called I don't know a camping place so I keep hitting this okay anyway it goes Peter runs over a damn kangaroo so I'm guessing that's kind of where the bad luck officially kind of started but there was just like a lot of weird things happening like a lot of there was like a bunch of like ants you know doing stuff the meat was going bad um marcia ended up finding like an egg and some being like an eagle egg and the eagle comes and like starts attacking peter i think that was like the very first like official attack was that um eagle the practical effects there just didn't age very well i mean they can't all be winners some of them do have to be stinkers but to be honest like the most exciting part of the movie probably didn't happen until maybe like the last like 30 minutes of the movie or so that's kind of where really all the animals started to really start attacking and doing stuff and there's like this like dead i don't know what the hell it is also peter like how many freaking bullets does he have I mean, finally, when he ran out of bullets, they said, damn time, you ran out of bullets. And then he's just, like, going crazy, like, shooting. Like, I'm like, oh, why do you keep shooting? You're going to run out of these bullets. I know, I know you're going to need them at the end of this movie. You're going to be like, oh, you're going to run out of bullets. And I'm like, well, you were over there sh shooting at them like you were fucking crazy. There's a dog in this movie called Cricket. And I was very afraid. Of, what the hell happened to Cricket at the end? Oh my god, I totally forgot about Cricket. Like, I kept worrying about Cricket, and I'm just like, where are you at? Like, there was something that he would get into the car, and then I'm like, where is this damn dog at? Are you really leaving without the dog? Kind of like with Alien, the damn cat. But, like, I cared more about this dog. Because, again, you caught the dog, and the dog would come, and the dog would follow. But, yeah, when something was happening there at the end, did he ever get back into the car when he went to go get the body? I don't remember. If you've seen the movie, let me know down below what happened to the damn dog. And I love that it did not end abruptly. I really dug the ending, to be honest with you. I I may have wanted a little bit more, just like a tad bit more. But, yeah, I, I, I was here for the ending. I was just like, oh, okay. So this <laughs> I don't know why fucker didn't move. Um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and give Long Weekend a medium popcorn. Even though the beginning was a slow burn, the outcome, I believe, was worth it, to be honest with you. Honestly, I feel like out of everything that I've watched for this series, this is probably, like, the scariest one out of everything. Because, like I said, it is a psychological thriller. So, it did give you more of that suspenseful moment towards again those last like 30 minutes of the movie but if you've seen long weekend let me know down below what did you guys think about it should i get you to hate it was it just not for you um have you ever even heard of this movie i totally understand if you have never have I hope you guys are enjoying this series we're just about halfway there but i don't think i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna finish the series i really really don't i'm going now 
I'm gonna shoot for 10 videos because I don't know if I'm gonna do the 13. I really don't. <laughs> We're gonna see. Fingers crossed that I can continue without losing my sanity. Uh, before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.